Hey everybody, so for today's video I'm going to be doing a 2019 favorites video and you guys, I cannot even begin to express to you guys how crazy it is to me that 2019 is almost over. It is currently Tuesday, December 31st, the last day of 2019 when I'm filming this. I was actually going to sit down and film this tomorrow on January 1st, but tomorrow is my younger brother's birthday and I just decided I didn't want to film. I wanted to just celebrate his birthday and spend time with my family tomorrow. So I said to myself, you know what, I might as well just film it today. I have off from work. So that's what I'm doing right now. And before I even get started in discussing any of these products, I just wanted to talk to you guys for a minute. 2019 has been a crazy year. I feel like it's been an emotional roller coaster for me. It has been such a great year in so many different ways, but then I also feel like it's been like a roller coaster in the same way where I feel like it's both the worst year and the best year of my life. I've learned so much this year, you guys don't even know. I am thinking of doing a 19 things I learned in 2019 video. If you guys want to see that, please let me know in the comments or give this video a thumbs up. I can honestly list like a thousand things I've learned this year, but I do want to just talk on the main things I learned this year because I've just learned so much. I've grown so much. I feel like I am a completely different person now than I was in the beginning of the year. And I don't know, change was like one of those things where it was just so hard for me to realize that change can be so good, but it can also be so bad. But I feel like I've changed in the best way possible. I honestly love the person I am now. And this year just made me realize that you just need to support yourself around the best people that you can and I honestly think that I do have the best support system, the best friends and family that I could ever ask for and I'm just so, so grateful for that. But I honestly cannot believe it's almost 2020, we're going into a new decade. That is kind of scary, that's actually really, really scary to me. But I'm also really excited, I have a feeling that 2020 is just going to be my year. I'm turning 21, which I'm so excited, you guys don't even understand. In 18 days actually, on January 19th, I'm turning 21 and I'm so excited for that. Just such fun things coming and I feel like 2020 is just going to be an amazing year. Did you ever get that feeling? I didn't really have that feeling with this year when it was 2018 at the end I didn't really have that feeling about 2019 but I just have such an amazing feeling about 2020 I don't even know how to describe it but I really just feel like 2020 is going to be a great year and I'm super duper excited for it but you guys I have so much products sitting in front of me I have anywhere from makeup to skincare to like music random stuff drinks food that I don't have in front of me some things I'm just going to talk about that I don't have sitting in front of me but I have more makeup than anything, like hair products, just everything. I'm going to talk about the things that I've been loving this year. And also, I do have some products that I maybe started using like halfway in the year or maybe a little bit after that. But they're things that I use every single day, so they are favorite. So I am including those in here. So I might be kind of cheating, but oh well, we're going to do it anyways. But let's just, let's get started and talk about the things that I've been loving this year. Okay guys, so the first category that I'm going to be talking about is skincare. The first product is the Kylie Skin Foaming Face Wash, and I'm not even kidding you. This face wash has completely changed the game for me. And I used to be one of those people that would just pick up any cheap face wash that I could find, whether it was from Walmart or CVS or whatever it was. And I thought it would just do the job and take up my makeup, and it never did. And I was never really in love with it and never really hated it. It was just kind of like meh. It was something I just used because it was the only thing I had. But once I tried this product and started using it, it definitely made a difference for my skin. And I can definitely tell. It's so gentle on my face. And one thing you guys need to know about my skin is I have very sensitive skin. So all the other face washes that I've used before this one, they were just very harsh on my skin and I didn't like them at all. This is very gentle on my skin. It takes off the rest of my remaining makeup once I'm done using a makeup wipe and taking off all the makeup that I can see. But you don't really ever see the remaining makeup that you have. You just don't even realize until you use a face wash. And this is just perfect. It smells really good. It has vitamin C and E in it. And it also has kiwi seed oil, which is very good for your skin. And I definitely looked into this product before I used it or even bought it because I wanted to make sure that it had good chemicals in it to just help my skin out because I have very dry and sensitive skin so I needed something that was going to help my skin dramatically and this definitely did. I've gone through at least two or three of these 
my mom and I love this so much. I use it in the morning when I wake up before I do like my makeup or even if I'm not wearing makeup, I will still wash my face with this. And then at night once I'm done taking off my makeup, I will just go in my bathroom and wash my face with this and I just love it so much. It definitely is one of my mains for my skincare. So we love that. And then following with the whole Kylie Skin, the Kylie Skin Vanilla Milk Toner. And this smells so good. If you guys like vanilla, like the scent, you'll love this, but it's not like overpowering. I hate those stuff that you use on your face that just has a very overwhelming scent. It doesn't. It's very, what's the word? Like it's just, it's lightly there. It's not like boom in your face when you apply it, but I love the scent. And I will use this once I'm done going in my face wash and I come back here. I will either use it on my hand or I like to actually use it on a cotton round. But if I don't have any, I will just use my fingers and I just put this all over my face and it'll just take off the stubborn makeup that you don't really realize is still on your face. Because I feel like once you're done going in with a makeup wipe once, you think, oh, my makeup is off my face. It's not. There is stubborn makeup that just doesn't want to come off. It's either like in your pores like that. So this stuff is amazing. I love it. I use it every single night. Love her. I just love Kylie skin. I also have her walnut face scrub. I didn't include that in this video. Just because I don't use it every day, I use it either once every two weeks or once a week depending on how I'm feeling. I really do like that, but I don't love it as much as those two, which is why I didn't mention it. I still do love that product though. My next skincare product, I actually mentioned this in my 2018 favorites video, so that's how you know you really love a product. This is the Garnier Skin Active Micellular Cleansing Water. Now usually I will go in with my makeup wipes i don't know where they are my neutrogena ones but if i have like stubborn mascara if it's waterproof or just mascara that doesn't want to come off the same with like liquid eyeliner sometimes i feel like my makeup wipes just don't take that off and you still see it on your eyes but i will go in with this on a cotton round and just kind of wipe my eye with it and it just takes off everything so gentle it does not burn my eyes i feel like all the other ones that i've used if I put it anywhere near my eye, it just burns really bad. And this stuff is just so gentle. Like I said, sensitive skin. So this stuff is just amazing for that. So if you guys have sensitive skin like me, or just if your eyes burn with any other products that you use, this stuff does not. It's amazing. Love it. I've been using this for years now. So that's how I really know that I've enjoyed a product is when I look at it from last year and I still love it now. Like that's how you know the product is an OG. <laughs> Next, I have a moisturizer. This is the Neutrogena Oil Free Moisturizer, and it is for sensitive skin. Like I said, sensitive skin. How many times am I going to say that I have sensitive skin in this video? I don't know. But I do use this either two or three times a day. I'll use it in the morning once I'm done with washing my face before I'm doing my makeup. And then I will use it once I'm done cleansing my skin at night. And then I also, if I'm, if my skin is like very, very very dead and you know I have very dry skin especially in the winter time I will try and do it three times a day so then right before I go to bed I will apply it again on my face just because sometimes I get patches of dry skin usually it's either on my forehead or on my nose during the winter time I can definitely tell that I have dry skin so I use this three times a day but most of the time I'll just do it two times and this stuff is amazing it makes my skin feel so soft, so smooth. Love her. And then next, I also talked about this product last year for my 2018 favorites. It's the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. And I'm just going to spray this right now because I love it so much. It just makes my skin feel so hydrated. I don't even know like how to describe this product. I just love it a lot. So yeah, I'm not gonna talk about this product for so long because I mentioned it last year. You guys already know, OG, love it. We'll continue using it. I've gone through at least seven of them. So in love with that. And then my last skincare product is a face mask. And I started using this maybe five months ago. It's the I Do Care Pure to the Pore Cleansing Volcanic Ash Clay Mask. And when I have like my skincare nights, I do use a face mask. And this is the one that I always use just because it just, I've seen a difference in my skin from using it. It looks like this. And I definitely have seen a difference in my skin from using this. I love the way that it makes my 
face feel after I'm done washing it off. I'll just feel my face and it just feels so smooth and it really does help my skin out a lot. So I love this a lot. And yeah, that was it for skincare. And now I think I'm going to go into beauty favorites. And I don't know where I want to start. All right, I'm going to start with a setting mist. This is the Becca Skin Love Glow Shield Prime and Set Mist. And I never really use this to prime my face. I'll just use it once I'm done doing my makeup. And it gives my face a radiant glow that I really, really love. It just, it gives me such a nice what's the word i don't know what the word i'm looking for to describe this it just makes me look very glowy i guess that's the best way of describing it it smells really good i don't know how to describe the scent of this it just smells really good and i'm almost done with it which i'm kind of sad about i have to go buy another one and it makes my makeup last all day long not even kidding you guys amazing love that and then i have two primers the first one I'm going to be talking about is the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. So this is both a primer and a moisturizer. I'm still going to use my moisturizer before I use this just because I have very dry skin. I'm going to keep saying that. But this stuff just makes my face feel so soft, so smooth, and it's just a great base for my makeup that I'm about to put on after I'm done using this. I really, really do love this. Oops, just dropped it. <laughs> but yeah, I really do love that primer. And then if I'm looking for more of a glowy skin day, I will use the first, not first day beauty, the Fenty Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. And this hydrates my skin so much. It gives my skin a nice glow to it and just makes my skin look so flawless. It's a great base like I said for the first aid beauty one for applying the rest of my makeup and if I had to pick one I probably would pick this one just because I like more I feel like some people either like to have a very matte look to their face for the day or glowy and I'm more of a glowy kind of person so I would choose this one over the first aid beauty one but I still really do love that one which is why I included it in the video next oh wait I have another setting spray i didn't even realize i had this this is the catrice illuminating we're going and staying in the glowy and illuminating products prime and fine dewy glow fixing spray i love this stuff i wish that they gave you more product because it comes in such a little bottle but this stuff just makes my skin look so dewy and i really really love it but it's not overpowering i don't like those setting mist that when you apply it, it just looks like you have so much glitter on your face and this one is very natural but it still gives you that pretty glow that you're looking for so i love that now we're going to get into foundation and i have two i feel like i have two products for every single category so i'm very sorry i'm very indecisive i'm like i like this product and then like i also really like this product so sorry about that but my all-time favorite foundation i am going to pick one because this one i use every single day it's the Fenty Beauty one. See, I already have this one that I just finished up. The Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. And these two products together, I know they're from the same line, but a dream team, you guys. This foundation is flawless. It covers everything. It lasts all day long. It gives me that amazing dewy look that I'm always looking for. And it just stays on my face all day. I know when I'm wearing this that it's not going to go anywhere. I'm not going to end up my skin looking really bad throughout the day. It just stays on all day long. And I really swear by this foundation. It is absolutely amazing. And then the next foundation is the Milk Makeup Flex Foundation. And I'm in the shade Shell. And if I'm looking for more of a natural looking foundation this still does give me coverage but not as much coverage as this one which is why i'd pick this one over this foundation but if i want more of like a light coverage i don't want to go as heavy for the day i will use this one and i really love the way that this looks on my skin it doesn't really look very cakey it doesn't really look like i'm really wearing anything at all but it still gives me the coverage that i'm looking for and i love it i love it so much and as long as a foundation is staying on all day, I feel like that's really all that matters. If I don't look, 
you know really bad by the end of the day i'm like hey i like this foundation and it's very hard to find one that stays on all day so these two are great at doing that and i love them both a lot and then next is concealer and you guys already probably know what i'm gonna say the tarte shape tape concealer this is just an amazing product what can i say it covers up my eye bags covers up any pimples or imperfections that i have in my face just love her i can't say enough good things about that product next i have a bronzer this is the physician's formula butter bronzer the smell in itself is enough for me to adore this product and it just has a nice bronze to it it's very warm which i really love a warm toned bronzer it doesn't make my face look chalky or streaky in any way it just applies perfectly and it is amazing and it's very inexpensive which i also really love oh, it smells so good next is highlighter and this is the kylie pressed illuminating powder in ice me out can you focus look how beautiful oh my goodness i love this highlighter can you see it i don't know if you could see it but i'm wearing it today like look look how beautiful that is so pretty love this so much and then next we're going to go into brows and this product has stayed a favor i talked about this last year it's the anastasia dip brow pomade and i'm in the shade taupe this is what she looks like and dip brow has changed the eyebrow game for me i used to suck at doing my eyebrows I'm not saying I'm perfect at doing them now. I still am pretty bad. But with this product, it's just so much easier for me to actually do my eyebrows. And I just I really love it. It makes it so easy and fast. And then my eyebrows still turn out looking really great. And then the next brow product that I have to talk about is the Milk Makeup. It's the Kush Fiber Brow Gel. I'm in the shade Herb. But this product is amazing for setting your brows. It just looks like that. But yeah, it's perfect for setting my brows. It makes my eyebrows look good all day long. I really love that product. And that's like the only eyebrow gel I ever will use because all the other ones I just don't really love that much. That's like my all-time favorite one. And now we're going to get into mascara. And I have three. I have two high-end ones and then one drugstore one. And I'm going to talk about the drugstore one first just because this is the one I've been using for most of 2019. These other two, I think I started using halfway into like halfway into the year so that's why i thought i would mention this one first it's the voluminous lash paradise mascara and this is the best drugstore mascara ever there will never be another drugstore mascara that will compare to this one the brush looks like that i don't know if it's focusing focusing okay there we go it is but you guys this product makes my lashes look so good it gives me volume and length and all of the above it's just it's really good and then these two are a great lash combo this one is the it cosmetics lash blowout i love the packaging of this by the way but the brush looks like that and this one gives my lashes so well, please focus <laughs> this one gives my lashes so much volume so i really like that one and it doesn't you know those mascaras that just at the end of the day have so much underneath your eyes gathered from the whole entire day that mascara doesn't do that and i love it and then this one will give me more length this is the buxom lash mascara i think that's what it's called and i just use the shade blackest black oops really i'm dropping everything now but the brush looks like that and yeah like i said that one is more for length which is why i think these two are the perfect combination we got volume and we got length i'm wearing it today and i just i love the way that it makes my eyelashes look and now i'm going to talk about a pair of eyelashes you guys already know what i'm going to say the lily lashes in the style of miami they look like this i already used these pairs so that's why they're kind of like falling out but i've never used such a great lash before i've used these since 
2018 so i've used these for a while now oops i just dropped them i'm dropping everything but you guys saw what they looked like but yeah i've been using them since 2018 and i have very short lashes i've been trying to grow out my lashes i actually started using the rapid lash about a week ago so we're trying her out so i don't really have any thoughts on that yet because i just started using it and you kind of have to use it for a while to really tell but i have very short eyelashes and sometimes i want more of a boom lash than i have on right now so i'll just throw on a pair of my lily lashes in the style miami and they're just so amazing they just complete my makeup look i never feel like my makeup is complete unless i'm wearing a pair of lily lashes in the style miami they just bring my makeup from a 5 to like a 12 I, I just i love them so much you guys don't even understand and then the second to last beauty product i have to share with you guys is an eyeshadow palette and this is the tartlet toasted palette this is my all-time favorite palette of the year it just has such amazing warm shades just look at this palette you guys it's so beautiful i'm wearing her on my eyes today and i can just make so many different eye looks with this palette I really do love it and I have so many eyeshadow palettes but this one is definitely my favorite of the year it's the one that I've been using the most I definitely do pull this one out more than I pull out any other eyeshadow palette that I own just because I'm more of a warm shades kind of girl so yeah I really like that palette just amazing and then my final beauty product is a brush this is the it cosmetics I think it's the love is the foundation brush and this is amazing i like how not hard it is but it's very i don't know the word i'm looking for but it's just so good for foundation it makes my foundation apply so flawlessly i love the way that it just makes my foundation look once i'm done applying it and i know that the brush really isn't going anywhere i can tell sometimes with foundation brushes it tends to like break apart after using it for a little while and this one hasn't and it's just held up so good and i love it and i also really love the pink packaging and that it's a heart okay guys so i had to do a little bit of an intermission because my camera battery died so i had to just charge it up for a little bit but i don't remember where i left off talking about this brush but it really is amazing and it doesn't really take that much time for me to actually blend my foundation because it just blends it out so effortlessly and smoothly and it just gives it that even foundation look and i really just love this brush so much and it's so adorable like the packaging itself of the brush is just so cute and it works wonders i really love this it has definitely become one of my all-time favorite foundation brushes i really really do love this and that is it for makeup products favorites for the year and i'm going to move on to some random miscellaneous products so the first thing I have here is the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in the shade Medium. And I'm not the type of person that will go to like a tanning salon and get a tan. I don't really like to do that because one, it costs a lot of money. And two, I would rather just tan in the comfort of my own home. So I haven't done this in a while. I actually think I'm going to do this tomorrow because your girl is looking very pale at the moment since it is winter time and there's no sun and it's not really warm enough to tan outside. So I usually just take a little bit of the tanning stuff just on this mitt that they give you or you actually have to buy it separately. They don't give it to you in it when you buy the mousse itself. You have to purchase this, but I always purchase another mitt. And you just apply some of it on and let it sit for two hours and then wash it off. And it just applies a great tan so evenly and it lasts for a couple weeks. And I really love this. It doesn't make your skin look orange at all. It just gives you the perfect tan and I really love it. Hence, loving tan. You really do love this product because it's amazing i've tried so many other tanning products that i really just don't like the way that i love this one so i really love that and then the next random product i have is a pair of sunglasses and these are from target i feel like a boss ass bitch in these sunglasses i don't know why i really love them but they just look like this sorry they're a little bit dirty right now but these are my all-time favorite pair of sunglasses. I wear these every day when it's sunny out, when I'm going to work, or when I'm going out and running some errands. I always have these on. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like to just wear them like this. But I think they're so stylish and so cute. And they're just sunglasses. And I adore them so much. So yeah, those are definitely a favorite of the year. And then I have my favorite perfume of the year. This is the Victoria's Secret Tease perfume, you guys. This perfume smells so good. So sexy. 
I just spray a little bit of this on and it lasts all day long it makes you smell really good and I just love Victoria's Secret perfumes and this one is probably my all-time favorite one ever it just smells so good I don't know really how to describe the scent other than sexy it's a very mature scent which I really do love about this and the packaging itself is so cute and I know their perfumes like this are very expensive I think I paid like 80 bucks for this but the perfume lasts all day and you just wear a little bit a little bit goes a long way I'm almost finished with it but I've had this for months now and I really just adore this perfume so there's that and then I have a straightener to talk about this is the Kardashian beauty straightener and I use this I haven't used another straightener since I started using this one it just makes my hair so straight and doesn't really take that much time I feel like with other um, straighteners you kind of have to keep going over the same hair to get it to straighten and with this one you just basically go over it either once or twice and then that's done and you move on to the next piece and it just makes straightening your hair so easy I really love this I'm never going to use another straightener because this is my baby I really love this and then my apple watch you guys I have become an apple oop, I dropped it on my blanket but I've become an Apple Watch nerd. I love this thing basically because I work at a pizzeria and I'm like on my feet all day long, especially when I'm working all day shifts. So I just love like tracking my steps and it's perfect because they give you like a little app that comes with your phone once you get the Apple Watch and it just tracks your steps for the day, which is probably my favorite part about the watch is it tracks your movement and your heart rate and just the amount of steps you take in a day. And this is also great because I'm the type of person that like I don't like picking my phone up a whole lot and this has just made me not have to pick up my phone as much just because when I'm working or hanging out with friends or whatever I like to just be in the moment with them and I feel like if something's that busy or not busy if something is that important like when I get a notification my Apple Watch will get it and I can just look at it for a second and then click it off if it's not important and then if it is I'll just go on my phone and respond and it just this is my baby I love it so much it makes things a lot easier and I can just check like the time which I also really like about this you guys would probably like just get a normal watch but I could see the time and the date and you can text on here and call or whatever and this thing is just amazing I love it and then another favorite of the year is my tattoo my baby this tattoo is my only tattoo and just my favorite tattoo ever it's just always a thing of inspiration for me I can be having like a really bad day and just like look down at my arm and read this and it just gives me strength it it's just it's like my little protecting thing on me I can like just look at it and know you know be strong I'm strong and just is kind of just like a positive thing and I really do adore my tattoo and I'm really happy that I got it and now I have some music favorites that I wanted to touch on in this video now I want to tell you guys something I was never into a boogie until one of my co-workers always listens to a boogie and he got me into him and now I've just been listening to a boogie non-stop so he is definitely one of my favorites of this year my favorite a boogie song is probably money over everything i'm not gonna play the song just because i'll probably get copyrighted so yeah that one's definitely a favorite or what song is it jungle i also really like uh lovin oh i also like the song hate me by ellie golding and juice world best on earth by russ and bia that's a really good song and of course drake his songs are amazing i still listen to like take care and headlines oh i don't know how to say his name if i say this wrong please don't laugh at me trippy reed i think that's how you say it the song love me more that song is my ish i really just love that song and then of course post malone his new album perfect my favorite one is probably goodbyes i really like that song um, i'm going through like my playlist and just reading off songs that i really like let's see i love selena gomez good for you that's definitely a good song and then her new one lose you to love me that song gets me in my feels um let's see what else we have here i have like a lot of throwback songs that i've been loving i like the song dancing with a stranger sam smith and normani and someone you loved i don't know how to say his name louis capaldi i think that's how you say it i'm probably butchering all of these people's names and i'm very sorry but someone you love that song actually really gets me into my feels i love that song 
Um, but yeah, A Boogie's definitely my favorite artist of this whole year. Um, you guys already know Leah Michelle. She's been my favorite for so long. And she has a Christmas album that came out a couple months ago that I really adore. And then her album from last year, Places, I still listen to it all the time. But yeah, I think those are like the songs that speak to me when I think about 2019. I've really just been getting into like rap music a lot. Maybe I'll do like a playlist video for you guys and just go more into depth with my favorite songs. But I just touched on a few of them and I always go back to like throwback songs that I haven't listened to in a while. And I'll just play those like Ariana Grande, uh, Camila Cabello, Tana Mojo. Her songs are dope. Um, Fifth Harmony I listen to. Khalid, 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 Khalid. Oh my god. I listen to Khalid all the time. I love every single one of his songs. I cannot pick my favorite song because I just love all of his songs. He's definitely another one of my top favorite artists of this year. So I think if I had to pick a couple, it would be A Boogie, Khalid, Liam Michelle, of course Ariana Grande, Drake. Like those are just ones that come to my mind. And I probably have so many more that I'm forgetting. But yeah, those are my favorite songs of the year. And yeah, that was just kind of my favorites of this year. I cannot believe this year is pretty much almost over. That is just insane to me. And I'm just so excited for 2020 and to see what that year has to offer for me. And I really think, like I said, it's going to be my year. I just have that feeling. And yeah, I really just hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's probably a long one. I ramble way too much. I know. <laughs> But this is going to be my first video of 2020 and I'm very excited for what my channel has to come in the new year. I have so much creative content coming you guys. I've already made a list of videos that I want to film so definitely expect super fun videos coming very soon with either friends, or my family, or just even just with myself. I have so many amazing videos planned. Just wait on it. It's going to be great. But thank you guys so much if you have stuck with me throughout the whole year. I know that I've been kind of MIA with posting. I did Vlogmas and that just kind of like put a spark back into me with YouTube and maybe realize that I miss it and I really do love making YouTube and creating content for you guys it just it's so fun and I really get a thrill out of doing it and it's just something I really love to do so it's such amazing content coming I love you guys so much I hope you guys had an amazing year like I did and yeah 2020 will be our year I know it I'm going to go now so I can try and edit this video to get it up tomorrow for you guys but yes I hope you guys are having an amazing day when you're watching this. And I'm going to see you guys very soon with another video. Bye, guys.